Now, today we want to discuss about uh, corporate interest and uh, as you know, as you have checked from the previous lessons on the YouTube, we have another lesson for simple interest. And we talked about simple interest where in simple interest we just invest the whole interest at once in the period. First semester, you get the interest, you come and get the second semester. So in that period, you invest the interest and other interest or other interest. Now, another thing you have to know about uh, compound interest, it is the money that is earned on the principal, on the previous principal. So uh, we are going to have a question here that I'll take you through to see how is compound interest known as uh, 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 reinvesting on interest. Uh, we have a question here, uh, we are going to hand it down here so that we can go through it. So as I copy the question down, um, Aziz deposited, Aziz deposited 12,000 shillings, 12,000 shillings in a bank. Which paid, which paid, which paid a compound, which paid a compound, which paid a compound interest, which paid a compound interest, which paid a compound interest at the rate, at the rate of ten percent. Now, we have that question of ours there. Now, uh, on making the summary of the question is not different from the simple interest. So, the deposited amount, we have the term used, we know as the principal. Principal for Aziz was 12,000 shillings. The rate the one that was calculated in a year, he was getting 10% interest of the amount he had deposited. So our rate is 10% per annum. And then we have the period in which the money stayed in the bank. That's known as time, which was two years. Now, remember, the money was deposited in the bank by Aziz, but now he used now the other form of how the money gained something on top and he used what you call compound interest. Now, on compound interest, on compound interest, on compound interest, on compound interest, we work out the interest in semesters. We work out the interest for the first year first. And then that for interest for the first year is the one that now will make a new principal, which now we shall work again the interest for our second semester or for our second year. So in our first semester, in our first semester, in our first semester, or we call it our first year. Our first semester, we 
with our first ear. Our principle, our principle on our question is 12,000 shares. Our rate, our rate is 10% per annum. Our time, our time, remember we're working on interest for the first year. So the time will be just two, we shall have to find the interest for one year first of all. That is now the interest that was accumulated or that was gained in the first year alone. So interest. That's what we're supposed to look for. Now, for us to find the interest, you have to get the formula. What is our formula? Formula for finding interest. Interest is equal to principal times rate times time all over 100. Our principal is 12,000 shares times our rate. 10% times our time, which is 1 year, all over 100. Simplify, 0 by 0, 0 by 0, 120 times 10, 120 times 10, that is 1,200 shares. 1,200 shares. So this is our interest for the first year or our first semester. So for us to look for the interest for our second semester, we have to find our new principle. And how do we find our new principle? Amount is equal to principle plus interest. Our first principle was 12,000. Our first principle was 12,000 shares plus our interest that we have accumulated for our first year, 1,200 shares. When you add, you get a total of 13,200 shares. So because we have our new principle, you have to indicate for us that our second semester, our second semester, our second semester, which, or we can call it our second year, our second year, our second year, our second year, we have our new principle, our new principle, which is 13,000, which is 13,200 shillings, 13,200 shillings, our rate, is the same which was per annum, which is 10% per annum. Time is one year because this is now our second year which we are working on. And then we work out the interest. What was the interest for our second semester? So the formula still is the same. The formula still is the same. Now interest is equal to principal times rate times time all over 100 our principal remember we are using our new principal which is 13,200 13,200 by 10 by 1 all that all over 100 0 by 0 0 by 0 when you multiply 152 by 10, it is 1,320 shillings. So before we continue there, the 1,200 was the interest for our first semester. And then this interest, we have reinvested it by adding to the principal so that we get another new principal which is supposed to take place to be used in our second semester where we have gained an interest of 1,320. So in the first year we developed this interest. In our second year we developed this interest. Now we go back to the question. The question. How much did he withdraw? 
How much did he review? Remember, on the question we have been told, if he withdrew all the interest, he did not withdrew the money he had deposited. He only withdrew what he had gained on top. And what was gained on top is what is known as an interest. So, whatever was gained is what we want only. So, in the first year, so we are supposed to find what we call the total interest. Total interest accumulated. The total interest that accumulated. Total interest that accumulated in the in the first two years in the first two years so that is first interest the interest of our first semester which was 1200 shillings plus the second interest of our second semester which is 1,320. So in total, the total interest accumulated in the first two years is 2,000, 2,520 shillings. So you have also to work out. So you should not also, when you are working out this question, kindly learn to arrange them in what called the alignment so that you can get it. Don't just work it out like that because you miss. You have to arrange them in an alignment that so that you are able to understand what it's supposed to. So 1,200 shillings plus 1,320 shillings, you will get the total interest that was accumulated was 2,520 shillings.